Right, so where are we heading now, Rick? Uh, this is the eighth. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, this is the eighth hole. So we're just coming up to the approach now. Uh, we've got two green stack bunkers. Obviously, we just redone them this year. We've got one looking there on the right hand side, and then one on the left hand side. There's certain things I think I can do better this year. Um, for example, if you look at where it comes in there, you've got a natural fall off the green, and then it sort of comes up again. Whereas what we should be doing for next year is take the whole area out, sculpt it down so it comes and rolls into the bunker, yeah. and then bring the approach right round. So any balls running in naturally follow the ground, and then we'll follow into the bunker. That's something we're looking at doing over the course of the next 12 months of almost going maybe even a fairway width around the greens to extend the width of the tight cut surfaces around the greens and allow bunkers to gather balls in as well as just landing them sort of thing so and when we're when we're inside earlier on doing that audio interview you said that's a big thing for you um that you that you really like allowing the natural flow of the of the land to dictate the way that the, the well, bunkers exactly. and greens like yeah exactly well that's why i'm a bit I could have done a lot better on them, and, but you learn as you go along, don't you? So the next ones will do differently. But you know, yeah, your land is your land, and the way it lies is the way it lies. So why not work with it? So all we're doing is tweaking things, just to you know, if there's a soft, soft curve of some land, and then it comes up into a sharp, a sharp mounding, and that mounding doesn't really play right, then take that mounding out, but come off the soft mounding, you know make each line flow as it would do if it was natural um, basically so that the bunkers do look more like they have been created out of a, an area of land sort of thing um, and I want, the I want them to play better, I want balls to be gathered in, I don't want you know I want the maintenance around them to be easier so this one we're approaching now down here at the path this, three. This one we're approaching. Has now, that been redone gone. as well? That's been redone and that's been redone with the bunker liner as well. Because that that is such an improvement over last time I saw it. Uh, it's quite an impressive uh, bunker to look at from a distance. It is when you get close. It's obviously, quite, quite linksy on the back lip as well, isn't it? There's quite a, quite a dead drop there. Yeah, yeah. Well, what we did was um, with the turf line liner, um, it's best to put it underneath a revetted wall. So what we did was put a, a turf, a, a cutting wall in for our shape. Then we put the liner in, uh, and then we actually then turf walled on top of that liner.